everyone, Eddie Wilson here with the Think Realty podcast, video podcast. I'm filling in for Avi Golhar. Obviously, I'm the president and uh, owner of Think Realty, as, where, as well as the American Association of Private Lenders. And I'm excited to host our podcast today. Unfortunately, uh, Avi, I believe, is on jury duty. And so all of his, uh, his podcast or duties are being relinquished to me. Uh, so as you can see, I'm a little bit red because I had to come home from the beach early uh, just to fill in for, for Avi. But uh, I actually enjoy doing this. This is one of the highlights of, of uh, the opportunity to uh, work with Think Realty and own Think Realty. And so uh, today we've got a couple of special guests that I'm excited to uh, host. And uh, that'll be a lot of fun. And we'll get to that content in just a second. Uh, let me first say thank you to our sponsors. Uh, our sponsors uh, for this episode is uh, brought to you by Residential Capital Partners, uh, a hard money lender with a national scope and a local presence in each market. Uh, their partners and loan affiliates have flipped over a thousand properties themselves. You can visit them at residentialcapitalpartners.com. Uh, we also uh, have uh, Real Property Management, which is a sponsor of the show today. And uh, we'll talk more about um, Real Property Management at the end of the show. So uh, by way of introduction, uh, I've got a father and son uh, with us today. Uh, and it is Max and Martin, and they own Express Capital Financing. And so let me see, are you guys with us today? We're here. Hello. Right. How are you guys awesome. doing today? Very good. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Now, you're joining us from Brooklyn, New York, correct? All right. Awesome. How's Brooklyn today? Uh, nice awesome. and cold. Nice and cold. <laughs> I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, and it's it's 60, but, you know, it's it's definitely, it feels cold for this time of the year here, but not as cold as you guys get to experience. All right. All right. Very good. So tell us a little bit about your business. Um, I mean, obviously, you guys are, are hard money lenders or private money lenders, and you guys uh, are lending at a lot of states. So kind of just give us the overview, and then we'll jump into some questions. Okay. Yeah. So at Express Capital Financing, we're pretty much a private money lender, like you had mentioned. We do uh, nationwide. There's about four states that we don't lend in. Uh, but we have many different programs, whether it's a mortgage, a non, no doc loans, very easy to use. Um, and then you also have our hard money, which is our bridge program, whether you're doing a residential property, mixed use, commercial. So we have a lot of different programs. We're more we're relationship lenders. Um, and that's pretty much how we look to partner up with different investors and help them get the capital they need to scale their business further. That's awesome. So, you know, if you were to kind of describe to the Think Realty uh, audience, we've got, you know, <clears throat> a couple hundred thousand people that come to the Think Realty platform all the time, and they're primarily borrowers. Uh, they are the real estate investors, so they're the guys you're going after. So um, kind of describe to them the easiest way that they can enter into your world. So they're doing a deal today, whether they need bridge uh, loan financing or rehab financing or long-term Tell them how to interact with you. Tell them the best way that they can interact with you today to find out if you guys would make a, a partnership um, opportunity for them. So calling us up and understanding their needs, their goals, and their strategies as a good relationship lend is what it's all about. So like Maxi was saying, we got the products and the programs, but we like to understand you know, their strategies and their goals. We want to identify a good exit with right. a you know, a strong profit, uh, we will help them provide them with that market analysis to determine if it's a good deal, the mm -hmm. potential profits, where the markets are going, the trends, you know, to keep it, buy it, sell it. Uh, but pre-qualifying is very easy. There is no cost. There is no obligation. And we encourage everybody to do that. This way they'll have the confidence of making their offers uh, without losing any deals out there, knowing that Express Capital is behind them. No cost, no obligation. Uh, quick qualification process. That's great. And so, you know, they come through that qualification process. You're going to help them qualify the deal. I mean, obviously, <clears throat> you see yourself as more of a partner in the deal, right? And so you're yeah. going to make sure that they're not making a misstep. You're going to give them a second set of eyes uh, on their deal to, to tell them, if, is this a quality deal or not? Because obviously, you don't want to lend on a, on a non-quality deal. And so you're going to kind of give them that second set of eyes as well. Sure. Exactly. You know, exactly. We're not, we're looking for them obviously to make their profits right? because if they succeed, we succeed. If we succeed, they succeed. Absolutely. Um, that, that's what it's all about. And so um, and you guys lend in how many states? 46 states. 46 states. And they can go to your website to see all the states you lend in? 
to all the states that they land in. Yeah. Which is uh, your website is expresscapitalfinancing.com, correct? Correct. Okay. Correct. Awesome. So, you know, there's lots of lenders out there, um, you know, and and obviously <clears throat> there are a lot of lenders vying for business today. Like it seems like the lending marketplace has gotten a little bit crowded. Um, tell me what makes you guys stand alone. You know, we were talking before even the podcast, and you're talking about how you service and how you believe in the servicing of people. So maybe just kind of help them understand, you know, your, your kind of uh, process for servicing the client so that it's more than just, a lending partner, like you're servicing them. Tell me maybe some ways that you uh, service the client. So everybody wants to get into real estate. Everybody realizes that there's a lot of potential to make the profits, uh, even possibly make this their own, you know, their future business. Sure. So with that said, be besides the capital that everybody is deploying today, we're able to provide them with maybe a, a joint venture where we can go on the deal with them. Uh, this way we could show them how to get the job done or we'll, uh, we'll, we'll introduce them to uh, gap funders if they don't have all the necessary equity. Mm -hmm. We will introduce them to wholesalers to find properties that we already vetted out that these wholesalers have existing properties that are not wasting their time also, uh, as well as realtors. So sure. we're contacting, we're connecting them to the right partners to, you know, to grow their business, whether it's through us with the capital, a gap funder, a wholesaler, a realtor, uh, and things of that nature. Awesome. So it sounds like, I mean, and in every phase maybe they're in. So they're finding the deal. Maybe they need some gap funding. Maybe they need some rehab funding. How about um, long-term funding? Do you guys do anything in, on the long-term space at all? Sure. Yeah. So we started that about two years ago, and we were just a commercial mortgage lender. And about a year ago, we got into the rental 360, which is, it used to be one to four units, but now it's up to eight units. Wow, one that's to eight awesome. Units. Yeah. And so we're doing that as well. And a lot of investors today are going that, uh, that route. Yeah. They're realizing better instead of taking, you know, keeping the 40, 50, 60,000 potential profits, uh, keeping it for the passive income and the forced equity that's out there with the tax uh, strategies to, uh, to grow their business. That's awesome. It does seem like that's the way that we're moving. And obviously, you know, yes. in, a, in the market cycle we're in, where we're at the peak, and no one really knows at what point that maybe it dips or dips a little. But obviously, if we are at the peak and it does dip, then typically that's a great rental market. I mean, obviously, you have buyers that turn into renters and, and there's an opportunity there. So it sounds like you're kind of there at every phase with the investor. If they need, you know, gap up front or they need, you know, obviously the, 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 you know, the actual rehab uh, funds or long term buy and hold uh, type strategy. It sounds like you're kind of with them through that entire life cycle. Exactly. Yeah. And we're connecting them with the right partners to, like I said, grow their business. Yeah. And also it's important, you know, as a good relationship lender to help the, the client, the investor, you know, the title company and insurance company, because they understand our needs. We understand their needs right. uh, to get things done. And but if, a, if an investor is just having their own third party, they could do it. No problem. But a good lender recommending these partners is going to expedite the deal, which is all about getting in quickly, getting out quickly, making their money. And that's what it's all about. Awesome. I, I alluded a little bit to the market. I'm kind of curious. I mean, obviously, uh, it seems like we're in uncharted territory. The longest rise that we've had in our nation his, nation's history was about 12 and a half to 13 years after the Great Depression. We're actually at 13 and a half, moving towards 14 years worth of incline in the marketplace. What do you guys think? I mean, what are you seeing anecdotally? You know, like what's happening out there with the deals you're talking to? I mean, where do you see the market going? What's your take on it? So, you know, there's a saying that they have, what goes up must come down. Uh, I mean, even Rome, the greatest country, the country that ever sure. existed in our times eventually, uh, you know, went somewhere. So there's no question that there will be a, a pitfall, uh, whether it's a correction, whether it's a crash, I don't want to say that's the, no one really knows. Sure. Uh, but right now we're in a super healthy market, meaning that we have every aspect of the deal is actually coming out ahead. Mm -hmm. Whether you're an end user buyer, you're still making out ahead. You have a sure. property that has equity. You have a piggy bank that you could use for anything you ever need. As the investor, you're able to sell for top dollar. As an investor, you're able to get great rents. So jobs are still out there. I don't see anything that's actually per that's really impacting the market mm -hmm. that would make me say that hey something's coming up or something's happening. Um, but obviously, always you know invest with an exit strategy. Always sure. know that. Tomorrow something does come up, you right. know, and 
you need to make an additional move. What are we going to do? Right. So you always got to hope for the best, but plan for the worst. But I mean, we see a very clear, very clear future. That's awesome. Uh, Martin, anything you want to add to that or? You know, whenever there is a downturn, you know, that is the best time to buy because an investor's success, whether it's stocks, bonds, you know, real estate, it's always in your buying, sure. not in your selling. So now it would be the right time to buy yeah. whenever, the, you know, this uh, unfortunate downturn. Yeah. Yeah, it is interesting. Um, I, a lot of friends like uh, me and guys that I hang out with and invest with, we're keeping some powder dry, you know, like, I mean, in the end, you know, if there is even a little dip, four, six, seven percent, um, you know, we just go back into a traditional market cycle. It still becomes a great market for buying. And so right. being able to keep some powder dry and being ready for those days uh, is probably just being prudent, right? Um, yep. You, yep. you take Warren Buffett, Warren Buffett made it was the largest, you know, uh, income producing period during the last downturn and a downturn. And you're going to see uh, probably the same thing. I mean, real estate investors are going to get really rich or they're going to end up sitting on the sidelines depending on what strategy they take. But having a partner like you guys to be able to leverage whatever capital they do have to find additional capital to make sure that they're taking advantage of the deals they, they have in front of them makes most sense to me. I mean, do I, you guys see it the same way? Yeah, I mean, it's, there, there has, like you said, there hasn't been a market that real estate hasn't been able to be profitable, mm -hmm. whether you have to change your, your strategy a little bit or not. Uh, I mean, we've had the most billionaires created in 07 and 08, which was right. technically the worst time in all of history for us in real sure. estate. So, I mean, it's really just a matter of how you look at it and what opportunities you find in the market. One thing but they I, have to plan. Yeah, absolutely. Plan. Yeah. And, and one thing I always plan. say is have your capital lined up, you know, like deals will come and go, right? Like, you know, you're going to have, uh, you're going to have periods of tight real estate. You're going to have a periods of excess. But the thing is, is if you have your capital lined up, then in the end, your deals, you can adjust to whatever comes to you. And so I push yeah. a lot of people to build these relationships with guys just like you so that when the right deal comes along or lots of right deals come along, they're ready to go and exercise what opportunity are in front of them. Yeah. So like they say, hindsight's 2020, right? Right. You know, you always see exactly what went wrong. So, I mean, if you have the capital lined up, if you have your partners together, you have a power team ready to move, you will never hear yourself say, oh man, I should have bought real estate back right. then. Right. Exactly. And you guys obviously are, would make a great partner for a lot of real estate investors out there as they take the capital they have and look at, at you guys as maybe a potential leverage source or an opportunity to come in and find bigger deals. Um, so one last question, and that is, I just want to know where you guys see kind of hot movements around the country. Do you see any markets that you really like? Because it seems like over the past five years, not only have there become more real estate investors, but they've, they've become a lot more passive real estate investors. And I know that there's really no true, I'm a passive real estate investor, and there's really no passive real estate investing. You know, like I still, I still look at balance sheets, and I still am constantly looking at my investments. But when we kind of move more towards that passive place, which a lot of think realty uh, investors are, you know, we're looking at markets around the country going, okay, which one should we invest in? Which one should we buy in? Which one should I find, you know, 20, 25, 50 rentals uh, that I can hold on to? So what markets do you guys see where your investors are, are moving towards or finding success in? What? Yeah. So I might be a little bit biased on this answer, not, not going to lie. Uh, there are a couple markets out there right now that are super hot that, you know, you probably hear a lot. One of them is Atlanta, Florida, uh, Texas, uh, California, you know, here and there you'll hear uh, Ohio. Um, so there's a lot of great markets out there and a lot of strong ones. Personally speaking, I'm a little bit biased towards Texas. Okay. I did live out there for a couple of years, but honestly, it comes down to the fact that it's a safe investment. When I say safe, it's a very it's very secure. They have a big infrastructure. They're almost their own country in a sense. They have a lot of jobs coming in. Their their um, uh, their uh, their property values are going up at you know great returns. I mean, don't forget some of them are actually at low numbers, so it's easier to get at ten percent. Uh, uh, increase, yeah. not, not cap rate. I'm talking about when I, um, wow. Can we, put that word? no, the property value increases. So in most places there, if you're appreciation, about appreciation there you okay. go. Yeah, yes. Sure. I'm sorry about that. So no you're going to get 6% appreciation in, in a, in a regular city, but if you right. to go into a sub city to that, so I don't know if anyone's familiar, but let's just say you take Austin, Austin has a lot of different subsidies like Maine or Round Rock. 
um, and, and Taylor. So all these other places, you're going from 100K value to 120, 130. It's not that hard as it is to go from 700 to 750. Right. Yeah. So the jumps are not as big. You're able to do more different. You're able to do a lot more uh, investments. You're able to spread your eggs out, you know, amongst different baskets. Um, and you're going to know that your rent's coming in because the job infrastructure there is just really strong. Everyone out there, Google's out there, Dell's out there, HP's out there, Google, right. uh, Amazon's out there. So there's a lot going on, a lot currently constantly happening, a lot of development happening, which is creating a lot of people to move out there. Um, so personally speaking, I try to follow the, the, the flock. You know, if you see a lot of people just traveling out there, that's kind of where I want to be. Yeah, that's awesome. So uh, real estate investors around the country watching the show today, um, how can they get in touch with you? Uh, give some phone numbers, email addresses, websites, whatever you want, uh, just to allow them to, uh, to connect with you the best. Um, that way they can reach out after the show and uh, make sure they connect with you and start building a relationship. Absolutely. So we're on Facebook, Instagram. So Facebook, we're at Express Capital Financing. Uh, Instagram also, it's at Express Capital Financing. Uh, you can reach us at email info at Express Capital Financing, or you could call us at 718-285-0806. Very good. Awesome. It's like a commercial. <laughs> I feel like you should repeat it like one more time, just so it makes it sound sure. like more of a commercial. No, but uh, what's, <laughs> one more time. What's the phone number? Just, just to make sure they have it. 718-285-0806. I appreciate you guys. Uh, thanks for calling in live from New York this morning. It's always a pleasure to uh, speak with you. For having us. And, Thank you for uh, having us. Thanks for being a partner of Think Realty. And uh, okay. I hope lots of Think Realty uh, guests uh, to our podcast will take us up on the relationship with you guys. And, uh, and, you know, happy investing to everybody out there. Thank you guys so much. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I want to say one more quick thank you uh, to this uh, sponsor, Real Property Management, which is the largest residential property management franchise in North America, managing tens of thousands of properties for individuals, investors, and institutions throughout the country. Learn more at realpropertymanagement.com or call 888-806-7088. Uh, also, again, thank yous to uh, our front end sponsor, uh, which uh, is Residential Capital Partners. And uh, if you want more information about them, you can go to Residential Partner, uh, residentialcapitalpartners.com. Um, thank you again so much for watching. Uh, please stay connected with us. Make sure if you're not a part of our social media program uh, that you go to Instagram uh, and go to at wethinkrealty.com uh, or go to Facebook and search Think Realty. LinkedIn, uh, we're pretty active on all the social media sites. And if you haven't read the latest uh, magazine, make sure you go to thinkrealty.com where all of our magazines are hosted and uh, make sure that you go and, uh, and take part in that. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Eddie Wilson. And I uh, appreciate your time today. Uh, let us know what you think and connect with us on social media.